We begin by clicking on sign in and inputting our email and password into the IDM. We will assume that the user has successfully registered before. We get directly to the home page. We can see two main sections, applications and organizations. In the application section, we can register new applications by clicking on register. First, we will introduce the application name. Then a description, a URL, and a callback URL. The latter is required by the OAuth2 protocol. Now we go to the next step. In the second step, the application's logo will be loaded by selecting a valid file type. We'll have the option of reframing the desired image. When this process has been completed, we click on Next. In the third step, we set the roles and permissions for the application. We will find ourselves with the roles provider and purchaser. We cannot configure the permissions or create new roles for these two by default. We also have the option to create new roles by clicking on plus new role. This new role lets you configure the permissions you need by activating the corresponding checkbox. It even gives you the option of creating new permissions by clicking on plus new permissions. Now we have our registered application. If we look at the vertical menu, on the left, we have gone from home to my applications. Here we can see the application we just created. At the bottom, you can manage the roles of the users. You can add new users by clicking on Add. It will show us a model where we can add new users with their initially assigned roles. Now we will head for the vertical menu and click on Organizations. From here we can register new organizations by clicking on the button Create Organization. We enter the name of the organization, we add some members, we add a description, and finally we click on the button Create Organization. We are now in the home page for the organization we just created. You now act on behalf of the organization and any application created will belong to it. To return to the home of our user, we will go to the right of the header and click on the arrow, and then select Switch to user session.